the ink level. Mm -hmm. Same with the... Ah! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Cory, and if you're new here, it's time for my welcome. And every month, I always do my progress report in a way of reviewing my pen and ink combos every month. So this is how I rotate all my pens in my collection and me mix and match it with my bottled inks as well so that I would come to know if it's a good pairing or not. And yeah, basically that's what I do every single month. And for this year, I've started doing the consciously five pens every month only. If there are any um, pens that still has around 30% or more ink levels, then I would carry it over for the next month. So for March, we started fresh. I only have inked all my sailors, Sailor Fountain pens in my collection. I have six at the moment. And... There was one additional new pen day for my Feb that I have also inked and joined the March batch. So this is the Kaweco um, Apricot Pearl. So let's see. Let's start by labeling this notebook. By the way, I'm using the Bamkuhen cover. Inside is the um, Hogunichi blank notebook. So this is my ink logs for bottled ink so oh yeah this was my last year <laughs> i just made the insert here so i started reusing this notebook my hobonichi blank notebook because i felt i needed a much more bigger space so let's start by labeling these um this is my black in my um every month that i need a constant black basic pen so this is always going to be there at the moment, I'm using the Vanishing Point Matte Black in fine. I normally rotate with my Lamy 2000 as long as I always have a black pen in my rotation with the carbon, Platinum Carbon Ink. So, let's just zoom a little bit. Yes. And for our first column will be the ink level. Ignore my pencil <laughs> block there. It's for my guide. And rate is for how I rate the pen and the ink combination i mean the comfort and overall and for the notes it's like this is just any takeaways for this particular or for this particular pen and ink combination okay so that's our three categories in doing our progress report first one on my list is my sailor pro gear 21 karat white in rose gold trim and this is um i think in medium medium fine nib yeah this is a 21 this is my only rose gold i mean my only pro gear sailor pen um i'm still looking for if i will add one more to my collection but that's in another <laughs> story so this we'll check the ink level this is inked up with the diamine salamander so last month was all my greens not all but my selected greens from my ink bottled collection because to commemorate the saint patrick's every march i do that and yes we are close to finishing it i guess it's just 10 percent left yeah you cannot see the ink anymore if by the with this <laughs> here so it's just around 10 percent. so i'm gonna wash this up and put it to rest for next month it's also getting dirty here in this section so i have to really wash this thoroughly i have my ultrasonic um cleaner so the ink level is we are at 10 percent left over so i guess this was pretty much one of my favorite to use and of course sailor pro gear will never disappoint you <laughs> rate between this nib this pen and nib and then and then the combination of this diamond salamander ink which is a little wet on the wet side so this is gonna be i can rate this eight out of ten okay perfect combination for these two 
I think any any ink you would put in the in a Sailor Pro Gear 21 karat nib always is a good pair. So I guess this is a good pairing ink um characteristics are showing and smooth writer it in a way because it dries a little little bit longer only see it's still a bit of wet there or because i like i said diamine salamander is on the wet side plus this is a bit of a this is a perfect ink for me i mean nib size for sailor okay so that's our first pen that will be put to washing second on our list is the sailor manio pro gear slim shirakashi a manio with the shirakashi ink so as you all know this is one of the limited edition sailor pro gear slim with the <laughs> knot and the cap acrylic and it also came with in a set when i bought this with the sailor manio shirakashi ink but i didn't try it before so i match it now and yes this is um oh the ink sorry let's check the ink level oops i think it's also uh finished guys <laughs> good job there it's really maybe five percent left not sure if you can see that but yeah we are down to five or two percent barely there left for this ink pen and ink combination i guess another good pairing by the way i don't ink um i don't feel my cartridge or my converter so full it will only be maximum three fourths minimum half so i think i've inked this half but somehow it's almost over so yeah it's used up this month pretty much and as you can see when the ink is dried up the shirakashi is like this it's a dark with a little a very little difference with the rikyucha but yes this is the shirakashi let's put here five percent and this is gonna be my seven out of ten uh, pen and ink combination overall the ink flows smoothly and unlike the um the first one the salamander diamond and pro gear this dries faster because the sailor inks are on the drier mid to drier side and i rate this a seven because just because of the feedback if you can hear that <laughs> some like it i it's not annoying me but yeah sometimes it's just it's just there <laughs> normal for sailor okay so that's our second pen again we'll be off for washing third on my list is the sailor pro gear slim yukitsubaki okay this is one of the very first sailor i got and this is in the mf as well 14 karat gold nib so all my sailors obviously are in gold nibs and i decided to use them all this month let's see for the ink level this is ink up with the colorverse redwood forest and again in a green shade but also this is barely there left so i stopped using my march pens um april 1st i have already inked my second my month my april month ink pens so um just to be transparent i've stopped using them until first of april so this again is <laughs> maybe two percent left okay and i give this rate um let's say it's a tie seven out of ten i have no issues with this pen apart from the feedback and also the ink is ah i remember now i rate this a seven out of ten because um the feedback is there obviously the ink is um ink is not 
really coming out like you know like this shade it because it's in the finer nib but obviously it's mf it's not actually fine or extra fine the ink is not really coming out as swatch like this so it's just a minor um note for me that this this ink would be better for a much more broader nib so yeah that's just um my takeaway my notes on this side but yeah overall i've used them i've used this because as you can see the ink is almost finished but yes these are my there's again this is feedback if you are not owning a sailor yet it this is like some kind of warning that you will be getting feedbacks but overall this compared to this the manual is more scratchy i don't know why maybe because of the ink i used it's a sailor and this color verse is um much more on the uh, wetter side again see it's still wet okay i say this because i say wet because some um some inks if i use them on an mf or like you know extra fine they easily get um dried so yeah that's that's just for my note fourth pen on my march uh lineup is the sailor pro gear slim da -da -da -da. what is this dragon palace yeah again i bought this together with my uh, yukitsubaki and this is in the mf all my pro gear slims are mf i don't know if you guys can change that or have other nib size but i think that's for my pro gear slim this is also in 14 karat and let's check the nib i mean the ink level so as you can see it's also also used up i think i've journaled so much this month <laughs> i mean longer than usual because my inks are finished almost close to nothing so this is again around two percent but what i like about this combination is that i am gonna rate this as eight out of ten although again this is way more feedbacky more than the yukitsubaki but it gives life to the ink which is the vert, vert empire by urban normally i don't appreciate this ink so much as you can see but when i write it with when i journal it's somehow uh, where's my journal showing characteristics like i didn't expect it characteristics of the ink so this is better than the Yukitsubaki combination with the Colorverse Redwood Forest. So this is, yeah, ink flows smoothly. No, normally, um, no, what you call that, skipping, no skipping. Okay, so it's a note for me that the Urban inks can work good perfectly with this Sailor dragon palace so it's again finished we're gonna put this for washing fifth on my list is the pro gear i have two more sailor here it's the pro gear um, hmm let me guess which one i listed here pro gear slim mini uh, peter moss the peter moss one let me check uh, the peter moss is in my mustard yellow okay this is the older um sailor mini pro gear slim mini in mustard okay and let's see for the ink level hmm. i use a cartridge by the way for my minis because i don't have the what do you call that converter <laughs> i don't have all the converter and this is the first time i use them up so there is i'm not sure if the light is catching it the, it's almost night time here there is around 30 percent of the ink left out of this huge cartridge so let's just continue to use this next month so we will not waste hmm. and then to rate this pen and ink combination this is my just say normal eight out of ten i cannot really say that 
this is my favorite but um this ink ferris wheel press peter moss is good with this nib because it's a wet ink and a a little bit broader nib than i know this is mf but i don't know why pro gear slim and pro gear slim mini nibs are way there's a difference in my experience so no feedback right smooth it just because it also dries a little longer okay and that's another pet peeve of mine if i journal and i have to wait for pen i used to use fountain pen and i have to wait i know there is this um what do you call this um pencil board but still it annoys me <laughs> to wait so that's just the longer drying period that's why it's it but overall this is a good writer and i can carry this on for my next month last but not the least um sailor pen that i have in my collection and inked up for march is design pink pro gear slim mini so the difference with the mustard yellow and this is this is the latest one i think that you can just post that cup immediately no screwing compared to the mustard let's check the ink level so this is also around 30 percent yeah what do you think so we're gonna be keeping this until next month so no waste <laughs> okay hmm. the only thing with the automatic posting is it sometimes flies off need to you you need to push a little bit harder so the sixth on my pen sailors is the sailor pen is the zine and with 30 percent i don't think i didn't use this pen much these two minis i think i um loaded the cartridge more than the, the converters have so that's why they are not getting finished and the combination is i think this is my favorite <laughs> i'd say nine out of ten why this is ink by the way with uh, rikyucha again sailor i really like the ink combination you can see that from green to a blue undertone and with this nib it's really really showing when i write so pen and ink combo is perfect for me see i know there's again the waiting game but it dries faster and yeah like i said these notes is for me that just to keep in mind that this rikyucha characteristics of the ink is coming out well in this pen okay so that's my last sailor in my ink march ink pens and it's gonna be carry over carry on to april i'm gonna put this aside here and a bonus entry my february new pen of the month which just um, joined this batch and i immediately inked it of course to enjoy <laughs> sadly in the beginning maybe because it's a cartridge i don't know i i tried to i need to push them down like this so guys just a question if you have this kind of pen or any pen case sorry how do you uh, store your pens okay so that it won't is the proper way to do is it like this or like this which one you feel is good to store them and you know when you open immediately it's usable because for this kaweko i have an issue with the writing okay i'll explain it further in a bit so this is the kaweko um with the uh, inked with the cartridge that's come with it's came with in, coming with it is the i think it's also the orange name i don't know i don't have a kaweko bottled inks so i'd say this is still at 60 percent and i want you to see when i write this is super annoying okay let's just try again 60 percent okay that's coming out and i rate this as five out of ten I will let you know later this is my least favorite for this month and anyway it's not the green this is just a bonus entry a lot of skipping 
and now i don't know why it's not skipping but i can show you a very good example i even marked it with a i mean a what you call this here you see this this is how it writes just ignore the yamaguro in the back this is april already and i tried to use this again um it's like this guys when i write do you know what is that i, I wrote because this is my kaweko it's everything is cut out you know so maybe it's the positioning of the cartridge because when i write it in the beginning it's full full on and i was loving the smoothness of that march 12 and now okay no skipping everything is the shading is very good but on my day-to-day -day journaling <laughs> it's just super annoying and it's not just one page maybe i have lotion in my hand it's always the case and even on my even here guys look i even know this is another tomo river paper just so not biased to the other tomo river paper of Hobonichi. but look at that skipping is these are all my rant paper <laughs> about this pen okay so this is my least favorite for this month of march and I'm not gonna wash this yet. I'm hoping. I even checked. How do you guys see if the there's a problem with the nib? I haven't touched. This was not. I mean, didn't didn't drop this at all. It's very new. Okay, and this is the nib. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's not focusing. So I don't have that brass thing to you know check this nib. But I'm giving this still a chance because there's still a lot of ink in there and this is my only kaweko orange in my i want to test if i like i don't have any kaweko button inks yet by the way so i guess that's it guys for this month and my favorite would be still the winning contender here is still my pro gear um white in rose gold inked up with the diamond salamander this made me think of getting another pro gear because i only, I only have my one and only <laughs> pro gear sailor and i really like the nib and the overall grip for this and the size compared to the pro gear slim but if you are to ask me the minis are, are close competition with the nib experience when i write so not the pro gear slim so these two actually are my favorite so i guess that's it guys for my march ink pens and my april will be following this video i hope you will subscribe to my channel give this a like if you like these kind of videos i know i have some friends here in my in my comments they really enjoyed my progress reports or my monthly currently inked videos so thank you so much and if you are just new and passing by please don't forget to like i mean subscribe to my channel i really appreciate that once again i'll see you on my next one bye